Welcome back guys, Patrick here and moving on to another chain rule example, we have to find the derivative if f of x is this function right here, 3x squared minus 2 over 4 minus x all to the power of 4. So rewriting this over here, we got 3x squared minus 2 over 4 minus x to the power of 4. So notice we got a function, this is a rational function here within another function, that's all to the power of four. So like we've been doing, you wanna take the derivative of the outside first, bring the four down. Inside function stays the same. Subtract one from the exponent, so that would be a three there. But then what we have to do is we have to multiply this by the derivative of that inside function. So. Let me work with that function separately. So we got 3x squared minus 2 over 4 minus x. So to find the derivative of this function, the function inside, we would apply the quotient rule. So taking the derivative of the top, 6x times 4 minus x, minus the uh, derivative of the bottom function. Let's do that first. So the derivative of the bottom function, notice like a negative 1x here. So the derivative of that is negative 1 and then uh, the top function stays as is. And this would be all over four minus x, that bottom function squared. And so when we distribute here, this ends up just being a positive one, right? Because negative times negative one is positive one. And then because there's a positive one here, we don't even need this bracket because everything in the bracket would stay the same after we distribute that positive one. So it would just look like that. So after you distribute here, simplify, notice we'll have a negative 6x squared plus 3x squared. That would be negative 3x squared. Those are going to be like terms. Then we'll have 24x. And then we'll have that minus 2. And this is going to be all over 4 minus x squared, like that. Let me just make sure everything looks all good. Yeah, it looks fine. So the derivative of this is this over here. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to rewrite it up here. So we'll have negative 3x squared plus 24x minus 2 all over 4 minus x squared like that. Now, what I want to discuss here is whenever you have this kind of function where you have a rational function to the power of something, you want to try to simplify further from here because what's going to happen is usually this denominator and this denominator, the factors are going to be the same. Because remember to take the derivative of this, that final step is we take that denominator and then we square it. So notice how we can simplify this and the way we would do that let me show you. So the 4, I'm going to leave. I'm going to put it 4 over 1, actually. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this 3, this exponent 3, to the numerator and the denominator. So if, remember, if we have a fraction to the power of something, then we would take that numerator to the power of that and then that denominator to the power of that kind of distribute that exponent to the numerator and denominator. So applying that here, we would have 3x squared minus 2 to the power of 3 all over 4 minus x to the power of 3. All right, so I rewrote this like that. And then this here, I'm going to rewrite as is. Actually, what I'm going to do, just to make this look a little nicer, you don't have to do this, this is just personal preference. I'm going to factor out a negative in the uh, numerator. So I'll end up with 3x squared minus 24x plus 2, right? All the signs change, all over 4 minus x to the power of 2, like that. So I just factored out a negative 1 here just to make that leading coefficient positive. I think it looks nicer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine this all into one fraction. So negative 1 times 4, I'm going to have a negative 4 up top. Then I'm going to have this 3x squared minus 2 to the power of 3. And then I'm going to have this factor, 3x squared minus 24x plus 2. And this is going to be all over 1 times this times that. Notice that these 
are two exponents that are multiplying with the same base. They both have the base 4 minus x. So when you're multiplying two exponents with the same base, you would just add the exponents, right? Exponent rules. So this would end up being 4 minus x to the power of 5, like that. And so this here ends up being the, uh, the final answer. Now with these kinds of questions, you also want to make sure that if possible, you factor here, factor here, because sometimes factors can further simplify, but notice that we can't factor this. 3x squared minus 24x plus 2 wouldn't factor into smooth uh, factors. And then 3x squared minus 2, that wouldn't factor into smooth factors either. Uh, so this is the simplified version. So a lot of times when you see something like this, a function like this, the final answer, when you look at it, it's going to be one fraction. And then that denominator is going to be combined. So just be on the lookout for that. You got to do further simplification.